Just how it's important for a drummer to count, it's also very important for a bass player to count as well. To listen to the pocket, to listen to the drummer's tempo, this is very important. Let me show you, you pathetic loser. I'm gonna do quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now eight notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and now sixteenth notes. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. I'm so fast you cannot beat me. Another lesson on counting. Check this groove out. Two, three, four. <laughs> Notice in that groove, there were two breaks. How does the band know when to stop and to come back in? The key is counting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So far, we've been playing grooves on a 4-4 four, four time signature. What does that mean? It means there are four quarter notes every measure. One, two, three, four. But where I come from, not all music is in a 4-4 four, four time signature. Let's say, what if it was a 3-4 time signature? What does that mean? That means there are three quarter notes in every measure instead of four. Now, here's an example of a groove in three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Now, I would like to combine these two time signatures. We're gonna do two bars of four, four, then go into two bars of three, four. Try to play it. Sure.